What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Chicago Auto Pros. I missed your faces, hope you missed mine. Me and Edgar are headed off to Atlanta, Georgia. We're going to the 2019 G-Technique Summit. Excited to go, it's three days of presentations, networking, classes, exciting stuff. You're gonna come with us, we're gonna do it vlog style and uh, we're gonna have a good time, right? Yeah, let's do it. Send it. Yeah, let's go, not that, here we come. <laughs> of the 2019 G Technique Summit. We just made it, we're about 20 minutes late, so we gotta get in there. But we picked up our rental car yesterday, a 2018 Dodge Challenger V6, 305 horsepower. Uh, not too bad, needs a little more power. We had a little fun with it this morning on the way here, but let's get in there, come on. Here with Jason from Chicago Auto Pros. What's going on, everybody? All right, so the summit was awesome, but if I roll all that footage of everything that was going on there, we're gonna end up with a three hour video. So I'm going to just give you the cliff notes of what I learned at the summit. Let's get started. This is the second annual Serum Summit. I did not go to the last year's summit as I was not an installer yet. And for those of you who don't know anything about this company, G Technique or G Technic, however you want to pronounce it, is a chemical manufacturer based out of the UK. It was founded by a quantum physicist named Drew Gill in 2001. In 2006, Rob Earl took over as managing director of the company and started doing some really great things with developing the brand and building a product line. G Technic is a very respected product line in the detailing community and leading the product line is Crystal Serum Ultra. It's a ceramic coating. So the first day of the summit consisted of a bunch of different individual classes. The first one me and Edgar went to was a class put on by the KXK guys. I'm Aaron Knox. I'm one of the three members of KXK Dynamics. I am accompanied in my crew of awesomeness by Jason Kilmer, a five-time Riddler champion and Andy Ford for Vision X, also an exotic specialist and hairless like those weird cats. Uh, we designed and created the company KXK Dynamics for one specific purpose, and that is to build tools for detailers and automotive technicians alike to bridge a gap between body shops and detailers. Just let the paper do the work, and I'm gonna stop when I start to see a little bit of white slip. These guys are cool dudes to know. They have so much knowledge and passion between them. Jason Kilmer, AKA the Sandman, gave us an overview of the KXK rid sticks and how they work and what they can be used for. Basically, the rid sticks are small sanding blocks that you're gonna use with sandpaper to sand away any defects on the vehicle's paint. These guys have all kinds of sanding blocks. They come in different shapes and sizes. They also have some really sweet polisher racks that we have in our shop. And they also make pad punches too, which will really save you money if uh, you want to make some smaller pads. Really innovative, cool stuff coming out of the KXK Dynamics crew. And everybody can see the texture in this pan, this OEM paint. Everybody can see the texture in it. This is getting weird. <laughs> The second stop of the day was Rupez. We all know who Rupez is. If you don't, you've probably been living under a rock. They were showing their new Mark III Bigfoot polisher and they did sort of a Q&A session. Jeremy Stevens from Shine Supply in conjunction with Lake Country Manufacturing, they were putting on a polishing class which really focused on cutting down the steps in the polishing process. 
The paint defect removal process is often a long and slow process as we all know. So Jeremy was there showing his method and with Shine Supply products how you can in some cases reduce the number of steps just by using the right pad and the product combination. That product, how to cycle it all the way out and you can get a finish that looks like you polished it because you did polish it because you broke the erase it all the way out. After the lunch break, we stopped in to see the guys from ExoShield. This is a new product we have brought to Chicago Auto Pros recently. It's an exterior film for your windshield that will help prevent rock chips from damaging your glass. Windshields these days can cost up to $2,000 to replace, and not to mention that all the bad things that can happen when you replace your windshield. It's not a bad idea to take every precaution you can to reduce the risk of rock chips cracking the glass. I have a future video planned for this product, so subscribe if you haven't done that already. Aztec was also at the summit. This is another product that we've started to use. They have a black PPF that we've used and I've been super impressed with it so far. It's a great alternative to vinyl if you can't stand that orange peel texture that you see with vinyl. Uh, this was the first time I got to see their clear PPF installed on a car and from what I saw it looks like a really super good film. The fender that I'm going to show you here uh, has the Aztec film on it and it looked like there was nothing there. There was no texture, it was super clear and it was really shiny. So don't be surprised if you see that film in our lineup soon. And that was pretty much the end of day one after all that learning my brain kind of hurt so they, a crew of us went over to the go-kart track. All right, day number two of the G-Technique Summit. Summit. We're just headed out there. Yep. We had a good time the first day. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> we put you in jail last night. We went yeah, out with uh, I, some we, friends of ours and just, we have fun. Edgar ended up in jail. Yeah, first <laughs> time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, day number two coming at ya. Day number two was more seminar-like. Everyone was in one room and they had a bunch of speakers lined up for the day. One of those speakers lined up happened to be me, and I was really nervous to get up there. I've always been a very introverted, shy person, and speaking in front of people is just one of the scariest things for me that I can think of, but I was determined to do it. I would love to gain more confidence in this area, and I think the only way to do that is just kind of get up there and do it. So I was a little bit scared but uh, excited at the same time. Uh, so they started off the day with Rennie Doyle via internet connection. He was there, uh, he was not in there in person, but they had him speaking on the monitor. He just did what Rennie Doyle does, which is motivating you and pumping you up. It was a really good positive start to the day. Eric, Andrew, and Rob announced some new products that they're releasing. They are releasing a new dedicated marine product, uh, 4G Technique, which doesn't mean a whole lot to us. We don't do a whole lot of boats. Um, they talked about the state of the industry and uh, G Technique specific information. Next, they had the guys from the Ray Company. These guys are so cool. Uh, I got to talk with Anthony and Levi the first day a little bit, and it was just cool. They're down to earth dudes. Um, I wish I did have more time to talk to them a little bit one on one. They were pretty busy there. They did a presentation on microfiber towels, and this was actually one of the highlights of the weekend for me with just the amount of information that I took away from that presentation. You know, to, to hear all the different types of microfiber and the different type of weaves and what type of material and how much of each material is in each towel and what they're used for and how much of di a difference that can make. Uh, really good information. If you guys are, don't, don't know the Reg Company guys already, they have a podcast and they have a YouTube channel going and the information there that they're, they're giving out is just invaluable. Go check them out. 
Dave Patterson from Lake Country Manufacturing did a nice talk about how to clean pads. I got to meet him for the first time, which was another person in the industry who I was looking forward to meeting. Uh, I've been a huge fan of the Lake Country pads for a long time. I started using their CCS pads like 10 years ago, I think. Um, I got to talk to Dave and he mentioned that uh, that I might be able to come up to the factory and poke my head around a little bit. They're not too far. They're just north of us uh, a little bit in Wisconsin. So how cool would that be to get a video of how buffing pads are made? So we'll see if that happens at some point. Lunch was served and then it was time for me to get up there and talk. Luckily, I was not alone on this. I was up there with Matt Mormon via internet connection and Mark Berger from the Detail Mentor. We were given a talk on social media and digital marketing. Um, I think there was a point about midway through my introduction where I just kind of just shoved the mic over to Mark and uh, I, I don't know, I just felt like I just used all the air out of my lungs and I couldn't speak anymore. But it was a good talk and I hope that people took something away from it. Mark did a Facebook Live post if you all really want to see the whole thing. Head over to the Detail Mentor. After we were done, Rupes had a talk. Tinder from ExoShield talked. Aztec had a presentation. There was a representative from Colorlock, a company that does leather restoration talks. Andy, Jason, and Aaron had a talk, and then Jeremy Stevens from Shine Supply closed it all out. Then that night, they had an awards dinner, and they served us food and drinks, and we had a, a good time hanging out with everybody, and that was pretty much it. I mean, it was a short weekend, but there was a lot packed into the weekend. I do want to thank everybody from G Technique for putting on a fantastic event. This is such a great place to get re-energized and re-motivated. Uh, I'll definitely be going back next year and I hope you do too.